Hi everyone, you are now in the training video on how to use the horizontal query expansion. The horizontal expansion refers to the first type of query expansion developed by the work package one of the Sinca project. One of the main issues with query expansion is the selection of the expansion terms based on which user's original query is expanded. Tethers helps to solve this problem by identifying synonymous expressions and linguistic entities that are semantically similar. Thus, the horizontal expansion service is based on this typical and powerful query expansion strategy. It exploits a resource from the EBI, the ontology lookup service, to retrieve all the possible cross-references in dedicated biomedical ontologies. We have access to 2073 ontologies for more than 7 million of terms. Among the popular ones, the processed ontologies include MESH, NCI tethers, ICD-10, SNOMED, and even chemicals with the ATC. Now, let's see how it works. And let's start with the basic URL. As you can see here, in the Postman interface, you have to interrogate the server named Goldorak, which is hosted at the Geneva University of Applied Sciences. And you have to interrogate this server using the port 8890. This URL can be found in the description of this video. Then, the parameter. Keyword is the only parameter you have to fill in the horizontal expansion service. This parameter accepts a string of one or multiple words, so you can enter any concept you are looking for. As an example, I will search synonyms for pancreatic tumor. The results of the query expansions are displayed in a JSON format that suits the beacon query format. Here, in the first section of the result, you can find a recap of your original query. Then, in the response section, under OLS, you have a list of all the synonyms that have been found in the different ontologies. The entries are listed under Search Term Expansion. Each entry includes up to four data fields with an identifier, depending on the matching ontology, the ontology name, and a label corresponding to the term in the ontology. It can be the main term or any of its synonyms. Each entry corresponds to one label, so there can be multiple entries to list all the synonyms from the same ontology. Potentially, there is another data field that corresponds to the OBO ontology. This field is added only if the information is available. An important thing is that if the input does not match any concept in any ontology, the service will return a JSON with an empty response section. In addition to all of this, and because an interest has been expressed in integrating the UMLS ontology, a prototype has been developed in this direction. Then, this prototype has been directly deployed into the horizontal expansion service. To exploit this UMLS expansion, you have to interrogate the URL of the dedicated prototype. And this URL is also provided in the description of this video. Or, you can find the UMLS data in the second response subfield, which is called UMLS. Be careful. This can be redundant with the list of synonyms written above, under OLS. Let's have a look at this UMLS section. You have one or many lists of JSON objects that correspond to the relevant ontologies. These ontologies are grouped by CUI identifier, and these identifiers are unique and correspond to the UMLS concept that match the user query. In each ontology section, there is a JSON object names that refers to the preferred term and its various synonyms and each ontology is provided with its degree of relationship according to the ontology standard. Of course, many of these synonyms are redundant between the ontologies.
However, integrating this service in your application allows you to gather an exhaustive list of terms. You can use this list directly to do query expansion, or you can filter this list to meet your own requirements.